Hi, this is Tony Mormito here, and in this quick video, we're going to look at the psychometric chart and specifically the processes of cooling and dehumidification. So this is a psychometric chart, if you're not familiar with them. It basically plots all the properties of air against each other so that you can see how they interrelate, and you can visually see what happens when we cool and dehumidify air. There's two properties of air that we need to be familiar with when we're talking about cooling and dehumidification. The first one's dry bulb. The second one's humidity ratio. And let's go ahead and look at both those right now. So dry bulb's pretty easy. It's the temperature you see if you look at a thermometer. It's completely independent of the humidity in the air. It's only uh, measuring the temperature of the air. So any thermometer you look at, that's your dry bulb temperature. If you read the news or look at the news, it's going to be 90 degrees outside. That's the dry bulb temperature. Okay. So if we look at the psychometric chart, the dry bulb temperature is on the bottom here. In this particular case, it's in degrees Fahrenheit. It goes from 20 degrees up to 130 degrees as we move um, from left to right. And if we go ahead and highlight this, you can see the numbers here. So, so when we plot these lines on the psychometric chart, you can see that they go vertical. So if we were to follow 70 degrees here, Anywhere on the chart on this particular line, it's always 70 degrees. It doesn't change the temperature. Okay, now let's look at what happens when we cool air. So when we move from right to left, in this case, it's approximately 115 degrees down to 70-ish degrees. We are cooling the air, obviously. So we're moving from right to left. That's how we cool air. That's the cooling process represented on a psychometric chart. If we're moving from the left to the right, then we are heating the air, okay? About 78 to 120, so we're adding heat to the air. So that's, the, that's what the heating process looks like. So as far as cooling and heating, this is kind of what's going on visually on the psychometric chart. Okay, what about humidity? So we talk about humidity on the psychometric chart. We're looking at the humidity ratio. So what exactly is the humidity ratio? It's the actual amount of moisture in the air represented by grains per pound of air. It's also represented by pounds of water per pound of dry air. So if you were to take a pound of air and wring it out, the moisture that would come out of that air would be the grains. It would be a physical amount of water that's in the air. Let's think of it that way. So what is a grain? Well, a grain is a unit of measure. It's a very small unit. 7,000 grains is a pound of water. A pound of water would look like, you know, a grande coffee from Starbucks. That's about a pound of water. And when we're in the psychrometric chart, you know, we're dealing with a range level from 60 grains to maybe, you know, 140. That's like what we would typically see in everyday air conditioning. Um, so 100 grains looks like, as far as weight goes, about 0.2 ounces. So if you're thinking of 100 grains, think of a quarter. So what does a pound of air look like? So a pound of air is 13 cubic feet. And if you were to draw it out, graphically it would be 2.35 feet cubed. And the dog is only here to give you kind of a representation of scale. So if we were to take that 100 grains, put it in a pound of air, it would look something like this. So just to give you a graphical representation about what's going on here. Okay, so humidity ratio on the chart is expressed here, pounds of moisture per pounds of dry air, or here, which is grains of moisture per pound of dry air, which is what we just looked at. The lines run horizontally this time. So let's say you were here is 70 grains, 0 0.010 pounds per pounds of dry air. I like to look, think about grains. It's easier for me to grasp than the very small numbers. So 70 grains, if you follow this line, any air property along this line has 70 grains of moisture in it. So if you were to look at this line, 110 grains. So anything along this line has 110 grains of moisture. So as we move up the psychrometric chart, we are adding humidity. Obviously, this point up here has more grains than this point down here. So that's humidification. If we move down the chart, we are 
dehumidifying. So this is the dehumidification process. So this point here is about 120 grains and we're all the way down here to 10 grains. So obviously we're dehumidifying there. So that's the humidification and dehumidification process as shown on the psychometric chart. So just as a review, cooling, we're moving in this direction. Dehumidification, we're moving in this direction. So when we go through a cooling coil in an air conditioning system, we're both cooling and dehumidifying, and it would look something like this. So anything moving in this direction on the psychometric chart is a cooling and dehumidification process. So these charts, these um, slides were taken from a webinar that we do that's called How to Read a Psychometric Chart. In this webinar, we go through all the um, properties of air that are plotted on the chart. We show you how the chart's constructed in detail, and we also review some psychometric processes. So if this is of interest to you, you can click the link below, and you can sign up for the webinar right now, and it's free, and just come and join us.